Welcome, everybody, back to another episode of Non-Fungible News. Today, we have the pleasure of sitting down with the Venonymous team, Dry Raisins and Silly Onion. And it couldn't be better timing because yesterday they minted out their 2000th piece. And anyway, we'll get into all that. But first off, a congratulations is in order for you guys. That is huge. That's awesome. Welcome to the show. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing amazing, Tricky. Thank you. Raisin. How are you doing today? Good, man. Good. Doing great. Good. I'm, I'm glad that you guys were able to make it on. So let's get into a little bit of background on you guys. And, you know, you didn't just jump into the space and throw an NFT out there and, and have a successful mint out. You guys have been around for a while, so just... Tell us a little bit about you guys. What got you to the point where you decided to put out an NFT? Being into V Chain and investing in V Chain early on in like January, maybe December of 2020, into into 2021, and then uh, finding out about the NFTs, I minted V Ghost. Got basically rugged on that, I would say, originally, and uh, just kept investing in projects throughout, and just decided to. I got into V-Nerds and uh, I liked the style of that a lot, but it wasn't necessarily a PFP project. I was thinking about that and then just the style of it. And we were on Black Bean Market a lot. We were into that early, early. I got with Silly Onion and we just decided, you know, to make a project and, you know, do it about investing and just trying to grow as much of the community fund as possible to, to invest and all that stuff. Definitely. I think it was just mostly we saw a need in the community for something like this. A lot of PFP projects either don't have utility or the utility is shrouded in the mist or it's a, you know, play to earn, nothing wrong with that, games and stuff like that to each their own. But I think what we were looking for, what I was looking for was a way to make money. We're all here to make money at the end of the day. It's community and it's investment and all that stuff. So we were focused on creating a project that had radar and all that stuff, but still there was solid utility where you knew that you were going to be generating passive income off the bat with the eat your tweet, with the Shaw nodes, with the paying back to investors. We have lots of ideas and ways to implement that. With the community voting, we have the voting system. We are going to set up votes where you guys decide what you want to do with your money, what you want to do with the community funds, because you invested in this project. It would be nothing without you. That is music to the ears of any collector investor right there, you know, because you're, you're absolutely right. There's there's a lot of projects that don't have utility. There's projects that say up front that they don't have utility. And, you know, that's those are a slightly different story. I mean, they can be. It that's more rate. powerful than saying we have utility, but you really don't. If you don't have utility, at least be honest. Come buy this PFP. Come get into this art. I respect that. Just be transparent. Yep. Transparency is huge. And it's, it's becoming more important every single day that we go forward we're in a growing community and the buzzwords are just not doing it so much anymore you want to talk a little bit about ganja girls i'd love to ganja girls was born a long time ago with the original ganja girl collection it was five girls three pieces of each you could purchase them on black bee market people loved that collection so much that it was it was put on my heart basically to create a pfp collection of ganja girls add it to the venons and airdrop it to the people that minted venonymous um, right now there's our next vote we've already voted on the shano stuff the next vote is going to be for ganja girls it's going to be to decide whether it's going to be a 2000 supply or 400 supply originally we planned to do a five to one drop and that's what I would like to keep up with. But like I said, it's up to the community. Me and Raisins can make all the decisions we want to, but you guys have the final choice on what is going to happen with this stuff. And the Gonja Girls, we really want to add utility to them. We want to add staking value to them. Something that makes them not just an airdrop. We, we don't really want any collection we put out to have no value. We do a lot of collaboration pieces and commission pieces for our for our holders, um, we do a lot of stuff from like Handy Wormhole. We definitely reach out into the community and get art, beautiful art for you guys and rewards. So the stuff that comes directly from us, I want it to have value. I want you to be able to use it and 
for whatever you want. That is more music to the ears of, of holders and everything. So the community vote and, and all that, you know, the, the project team is is responsible, like you said, to come up with, you know, a certain structure and ideas, but ultimately it lands on the community for, for what they want. And that is what makes good project. So you guys pushed back your mint quite a bit obviously isn't a bad thing because you guys have, have done it right and you successfully minted out but what caused you guys to pump the brakes and say okay well we're, we're not ready yet we're not ready yet we're just we're gonna we're gonna keep on building until we're ready yeah well it was really it came down to the fact that the marketplace we were minting on was not ready for people to use it and that's been our struggle for a while. We love Black Bee Market, we started there. I wasn't ready to put out a project and have people not be able to view their NFT, not be able to use their, what they just minted. So we made the executive decision to push the mint back and give them more time to get it ready. Give them more time to make it more viable for people that were looking to view and transfer their NFTs and list it and stuff like that. The, what it really came down to though, was we just felt like it wasn't the time. We were not in a rush. This was not a rushed project by no means. This was born last year. This idea was born last year and we spent so much time refining it and refining it until it was exactly what we wanted and exactly what we were comfortable with putting out to the public. Because I feel like at the end of the day, when we minted wasn't important. The quality of what was being minted wasn't important. Absolutely. I think that's that's amazing. So Raisins, do you have anything on that? Yeah, I mean, we just we weren't ready to, to push the mint or we weren't in a rush to push the mint or get it out there. We wanted everything to be to be right and ready and you know, have an aftermarket available for the community to use. Because we've been in I've been in projects that, you know, didn't have an aftermarket readily available and it just wasn't the, the majority of the community wasn't happy and I didn't want to have that issue within ours. So ultimately, you guys decided to launch on Black Sea still. Yes, we did. Murtal and Stodiana are definitely some of the most helpful and honest guys I've ever met. They have love for this community like I've never seen before. And we believe in them. It's not that we don't believe in them as people and as a community and as a business. It, and Black V 2.0 was on the cusp, man. I mean, this was- it really was. We've seen testing and everything, but working, like everything looked great. And, and that was the week of our, up. that that was supposed to drop. So we had it all lined out. We, and then, you know, another hit, we take another hit, they get dev rugged again which is out of everybody's hands. It was someone they thought they could trust. So we just have to take that in stride. And, you know, we had already started the Mint. People were ecstatic with what was going on. And I think the, the people that hold our NFTs are people that understand this community, understand the investment, understand what we're trying to do. And they could hear us out that like, hey, this is not the end of the world. We're gonna get you guys listed on other marketplaces. Don't worry. Um, but the value of our project isn't in the aftermarket. The value of our project is you holding that NFT, keeping it in your wallet. And if you choose to sell it on the aftermarket, guess what? 2.5% of the aftermarket royalties go back to you and 2.5% go back to AI holders because we don't want that. We want you guys to replenish your community and keep the funds moving. If you do choose to sell it, like, like I said, we're not an NFT that has an aftermarket Plan. That's not where our money is planning to come from. Um, we want you to hold on to it. I don't want you to sell it. If you sell it and you list it, I'm probably going to go buy it. Awesome. So you guys are, you'll be sweeping, sweeping the floors then? Yeah. From yeah I wanted a mint. <laughs> I wanted a mint a ton, but I didn't want to get anything good to, to find a way to, you know, give it, give it away. Like I wanted, to, I wanted everyone else to mint those rewards, so I definitely have to get a few. I gotta have a little say in the vote. You can't buy any of mine. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll be looking. I will be looking. <laughs> this is this is one of those that I'll certainly be be holding on to myself because you guys are a project that I I see the value in and uh, I see a future in. So let's uh, we'll, we'll get into that what you guys have in the future. But so you guys just minted out it was open for what two almost two months almost it was, yep. the first would be two months tell us about you know the feelings the the thoughts running through your mind from mint day open until you know all right it slows down a little bit and just the whole two months walk us through that a little bit i felt like for what we had in the discord because i feel like that's where most of the engagement is 
and people, you know, are actually listening and in there. I felt like it was like on mint day. It was just right there with what it should have been, honestly. I didn't expect like a mint out in a day. There was mints around ours, which is fine. I think, you know, the marketing that you do has a big play in how fast you went out. So, I mean, it, it was stressful at times, but we just, the Discord was never lacking or, or anything like that. So I was just confident with keep it, keeping it pushing and keeping it going. Definitely. I think that, like I said, we have a deep understanding of the market, of the prices, of what people are able to do. It's not always realistic for your project to mint out in a day or two days or a week. And it's not realistic to get discouraged by that. It doesn't mean people don't believe in you or your project or your product. It just means, hey, they might be tapped out on vet right now. Hey, share the love. There's other communities that are minting. No. Don't be selfish. Um, we were patient because we knew that we would mint out. We had this goal. We didn't want to close the mint. We didn't want to change the supply. We didn't want to do any of that because we truly believed in our community that we would mint out, that people were biding their time and doing things the way they wanted to do. We had a lot of people that were waiting until the latter half of the mint to mint some more. We just knew that numbers had to keep flowing. The mints were steadily coming in. There was minting pretty much every day in these two months, just slowly but surely. And that's okay um, because we, we are on a smaller marketplace. Our, our advertising is done solely by us. Everything in this project is done solely by us. So we had to be realistic and we are realistic and we believe in ourselves and this is the product of it. That That's pretty amazing because you know, there's uh, we've seen projects that the mint doesn't go as they planned uh, a weekend and they've just closed up. And that breaks my heart. You got to have the right mindset, I think. And, and it sounds like you guys definitely had that right mindset, understanding the market, understanding the community that you're in and and all that stuff that you just listed off. I mean, that's that's admirable to go into a project like that. Mint is closed. 2,000 pieces are out. The community's happy. What's the next step for Venonymous? Gonja Girl vote. Yep, yep, getting the Gonja Girl vote, seeing what the supply is going to be on that. Right after that, we'll have the, we bought five V-Kings and five eight. We'll have, be having a vote to see if we keep those or not, because it was just kind of the right time to buy those. And uh, it, was a, it was an opportunity to get them. And MVA having a plot on in their world would be amazing, I think, especially for Mark getting more people would know about the project and we could do some fun things on there too. And as for more things coming for our project, um, we actually have some really awesome investment ideas in our channel. We have in our discord, we have a channel called ideas for investment where anyone can go and freely openly talk about any ideas they have, anything they think would be a good idea. And um, we've actually been speaking about, so first let me start off with this. Me and Raisins, the place we live in is a booming tourist community. Um, there are over a million people that pass through here in a couple of months because we live in a beautiful state park and there's lots of opportunity for investment. Now, I own 10 acres of land and we've decided to maybe put up some small cabins there. You know, the little one room, you finish it out, it's like a cabinet. You can easily make $400 a week and on stuff like that. People, people are looking for places to stay. There's nowhere. People are always looking. And if we started a community and we start with one cabin, charge $400, start to make money off of that that way. And it goes back into the community. That's fiat. That's we're making fiat. We're not staking it in a pool and making money that way. We're not doing another collection. We're investing in the real world with real money and real people me and Raisins to take care of it and run it ourselves because we're very capable. And um, our community loves the idea. They are really behind it and they want to be a part of it. They, they're they excited to hear about something that's taking place in the real world. Something that's not, something that they can phys physically see, tangibly feel, and money that is actually coming in constantly. And possibly even come stay in it too. Yeah, sure, why not? And I, I think it would also be cool to like, like put a little pamphlet in there about V Chain and you know get your first NFT. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. I would call it V Chain Estates. Like let's like get more people into this. Like come come stay in the V Chain cabin, whatever. I was gonna say, sign me up. I'll I'll come stay in one of your little cabins. I mean, for real, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the experience. If That's we if if it votes for that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's everything's always a vote. And me and Raisin both have five thousand dollars of our own money to ante up because any any anything this project does, we are invested in it personally. 
it is not just you guys. It's not just you're out flapping in the wind. No, we're flapping in the wind together. So let's rein it back in. Let's get it figured out and let's make money and let's keep pushing on together. I think it's important for people to know that we're personally staked in this though, heavily. Yeah, I, I like that real world tangible assets to tie in with, with an NFT project. I think that that makes it a lot more interesting and I think it gets a lot more serious people involved. And it should it should make you feel serious and uh, yeah i think that's i think that's important because you know there's there's all kinds of different nfts and different types of investors and and all that but at the end of the day you want a good community yeah i do i want absolutely. that understands and and want to move forward with us people that see the value and that would be uh extremely valuable i would say so you were talking about staking a little bit ago so what uh what can we look forward to as far as staking goes because i know you know that's one of those things that oh it's kind of a controversial topic because you know if if i can stake my uh venonymous well let's just take something that's staking right now i can i can go buy uh three ukiyo warriors and i can stake them and get about two wove a day roughly two three four whatever it is Per mm. NFT per day, and and there's two schools of thought. It seems one says, "Well, that's a waste of your money because the return is crap," mm. and then there's the other school of thought that I side with that, "Well, I was going to buy this project anyway. Yeah, I'm going to invest in these people anyway." That's so, something the raisins have been talking about. We've been on the fence, man. So the staking is, yeah, it's it's not going to generate me a lot of money mm -hmm. but over time. It all adds up, and if I'm gonna invest in you anyway, why not stake for what some people want to say is nothing? Yeah, and then I mean, on top of that, we would have to spend some of the funds to to acquire staking. So you're just you're just taking a chunk of the money that the community gave you to give it back to them at a lower rate. And some people like that, and some people don't, and that's why I do want to add everything we have planned still has to be voted on. Um, we might not do staking because our community might say, that's a shit idea. We don't want to do that. We want to spend our money elsewhere. And that's fine. That's fine. But I, it's an option. It's it's on the table. Everything's on the table. Um, more than likely, we would probably go wove staking um, if we did, just because it's most- It's more available to us, I would say. I think staking on Black Bee Market would be like quarter four at the earliest, at the earliest. So, I mean, I would like to guarantee it because we put it in the roadmap, you know, quarter four stake. Yep. So I would just want to make sure it's actually there. Well, quarter four is creeping up on us very quickly. Got to throw yeah. that out there. This is, this year's moving along quick, fast and in a hurry. It has been a fast year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially working on this project, I don't even know what day it is sometimes. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yep, it's it's definitely not always easy to, to keep up with everything, but uh, yeah, I mean, it takes, it takes a lot of work. That's what I tell people every day. It takes, I don't care who you are in this community, you have a job and you're doing it every day. People don't, people really, I feel like a lot of people get into projects or get into a supervisory role and don't realize how taxing it is how much people are relying on you to respond even. Just a response means so much to people. If they're in your DM and you can take the time out of your day to go read what they said and give them an intelligent response, they are, you're in, your, in their mind, you're above a lot of people because you'd be surprised how hard it is to get a response sometimes. People are busy, I totally get that. But if you can make it a point to pay attention to your community, personally be someone that they can rely on it will set you far above in their eyes it's important uh yeah absolutely i mean i i reach out to different different people in the community and other communities every single day and it doesn't take me long to determine you know who who i'm gonna end up doing yeah, who's business serious. with yeah. because uh, you know if i got if I got questions, if I got, uh, you know, wh whatever the case may be, um, you know, there's people that seem interested and you, like you said, people are busy. You got to give a little bit of grace for that. But at the end of the day, you got to be available for your community. Yeah, you do. And that's a lot, can be a lot, especially I'm, I'm sure during, uh, you know, especially when you guys first started minting, you know, I know I was in your discord and and yeah. I was asking questions, you know, and I'm, I, I can't imagine that uh, that wouldn't be overwhelming because at times I'm sure it's just flooding you in and, and 
you feel like you can't escape or answer everybody. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes I commend Brazen's on that. He is he's really a lot of our community management and just like kind of the figurehead when it comes to like if you have questions, if you need to reach out to somebody, if you're in the Discord, he's always there. Um, like seriously, I try to be on his level. I try, <laughs> but I don't know. He's just a machine. He's always in the Discord, always responding, always saying the right things. And I'm just glad that I have a, a partner like that that I can trust. Yeah, I'm just kind of always in Discord, regardless, because I am an investor in the community, also. So I'm I'm in ev- I'm like clicking every Discord. I have groups like constantly, so I'm I'm just pinging around constantly. And with recently quitting my job, I have a, a, a ton of time right now before my orientation to get in there and just be there as much as I. Can. Yeah, I know every time I've reached out to you, it's like, it seems like it's within minutes that you get back to me. I, it's almost like it doesn't even matter what time of day it is. You know, you guys are, I think, two hours ahead of me. I get like four hours of sleep. <laughs> Like four, four to six hours of sleep, just constantly, just on my phone. I have like 14 okay. hours of time on my phone. So if there was one thing that you guys could do differently, looking back, what would it be? Push the mint back again. You want to do that? You would want to push it back again? I, I, I think we should have. Maybe maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month, but I, I was scared to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's... <laughs> that, that would be for me. I just because I still like, I feel like with the, the Black Me thing that happened, it, it we, swear, we still weren't absolutely ready because I just wanted it really, really available. But Emmett came through and as soon as Mint started, he's like, I can get you listed on Paper Project. So I kind of saved it. But He's the G. He's a gangster, bro. I love him. Shout out to Emmett. Emmett is awesome. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm really honestly trying to think of anything I would have done differently and I can't. I can't. Um, I just can't because I feel like every step was so thought out and so analyzed. I mean, me and Raisin's hours. I, mean, I wish I could clock how many hours we've spent just talking about this damn project and, and the future of it and every tiny aspect. And I feel like we really just refined it and refined it until it was exactly what I wanted to put out. It was exactly what I was ready for the public to see and to be a part of. So yeah, just confident in it. That's good. No changes. One of you guys wanted to push it back a month after it just minted out. No, that's that's actually kind of a pretty impressive answer given, you know, the fact that it did just mint out and you still would have pushed it back a month. I mean, yeah, for everything to be perfect for people, though, like he's he's honestly right. We had no idea the BVM 2.0 stuff was going to fall through. Um, if we had, we, we it might have been a bigger discussion to push the mint back, but it was too imminent. Um, it was it was we it didn't was want any, we didn't want like a, a, a red flag thrown up and like, yeah, just have, have people know. worried and like, what, why didn't we mint or, you know, because it, it was it was we were right there at minting. Like the previous, we, we were planned to mint like a month away and we, we had time to announce that and explain why we didn't want to mint and we just wanted to have it well thought out. So you guys mentioned getting getting listed on other marketplaces. Is Black V still going to be your home base? I would like it to be. I would like to incentivize some way, you know, to, to traffic on Black V Market. Yeah. No Nerds is doing a lot of stuff and they're they're invested in Black V Market and we would like to be a part of that. I'd, I'd like to, you know, personally. So we just got a couple minutes left, but is there is there anything that you guys would like to, to let the community know? Any, any final words that you got for the people? I would say just thank you. A huge shout out to everyone and yeah. big shout out to Murtaugh and Stodiana and Milos for helping us out throughout this whole time mm-hmm. and being there basically all hours of the day and not whatever we needed any questions we had i thank them i thank the community for believing in us investing in us i do want to say that everybody should just watch out for being anonymous because we're serious we're here and we believe in this community we believe in v chain we believe in v fam we believe in the future of Web3 and we want to be a part of it. One more thing about uh, AIs. AIs are getting 2.5% of aftermarket sales. There's only 29 of those. There will be 30, 31, I think. 30, 30 in total, because one more will go to the top mentor. They're getting like 68 vet compared to one vet for Venonymous. And they're just basically the OGs, you know? It, 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 AI, you're definitely an OG in this community and in this project. Because people have stuck with this for like since we started the Discord, there's been people in there day one. So we wanted to reward those people. In January, it's been all like seriously, 
months and months and months in the making. Like we went public with it January and we planned to drop April 1st. You guys know that, pushed it back a couple months, which I think still was the right decision. It's just been such a long time coming and it's finally all coming together. And the people that have been there from the start are wonderful people. We have an amazing team of moderators, an amazing core community that's there every day, chopping it up, just, just being awesome ass people. And I love it makes me feel so much pride in my heart. Like I'm bursting with pride right now. You might not can tell. Well, I, I can uh, hear it in both your guys' voices and you're just, you're genuine people that that care about your community and delivering the best product. So we're looking forward to it. I I mean, I'm looking forward to it and you can you can bet I'll be making a reservation in, uh, in V-Chain, uh, V-Chain cabins or what'd you call it? V-Chain Estate. V-Chain Estates, you can bet I'll be making a reservation and- You'll get discounted rate. I don't need a discounted rate. I just, <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll pay the, I'll pay the price and come on down and show some, some real world love for, uh, you know, some some off chain love for some on chain community. Absolutely, that would, that would be awesome, man. Honestly. Sure. All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate your time and uh, best of luck. And I'm sure we'll be doing this again. Thank you very much, Tricky. It was thank awesome. you, Tricky. Peace. See ya.